Hi ladies, how are you? Okay, so I'm back to do a makeup haul. This is an e.l.f. makeup haul. Um, I went and I did some shopping on elf.com.au, so it's the Australian e.l.f. site. I'll put the link in the information below. But I went on and I've got a little bit of an e.l.f. addiction at the moment. I bought a few products originally from Kmart in Australia because they stock e.l.f. But they didn't have everything that I wanted to get. So when I was in Kmart, I only picked up a few little things. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen what those, those were. But I picked up this little all-over colour stick in pink lemonade, which is what I'm wearing now as a blush. And it really smells like pink lemonade. It's divine. And I picked up their primer, which is the Mineral Face Primer, the purple one. And this is my new addiction. I absolutely loved it. So I didn't get everything that I wanted to get, so I went on the e.l.f. website and put in a big order, and it arrived today. So I thought I'll do an e.l.f. haul, as there's quite a bit. So I've already opened the envelope. It arrived in an envelope like this. And so you can see inside. So again, if you follow me on Instagram or Google+, Plus, I would have shown a photo of this, so you'll have noticed already. So that's what looks inside. I'm filming on my camera again, by the way, and I don't have a, a screen or anything, so I can't see myself. So I'm hoping the lighting's okay, because it is nearly 5 o'clock here, and it's getting dark. So this might this might be in two stages. I might do some today, some tomorrow, depending on the lighting. So we'll see how we go. So I'll just get straight into it. The first thing I picked up straight away that I put in my cart was the Baked Eyeshadow Palette. So it looks like this. Um, this is the perfect palette of 10 pigment rich baked eyeshadow shades can be used wet or dry for a sub subtle or vibrant effect so I picked up that straight away so I'll just take it out of its box and have a look this is the first time I'm opening them out of the boxes by the way I just literally opened the envelope I haven't actually opened anything to look inside so that's what it looks like there and just open it up so that's what it looks like. I'll try and block the mirror. And excuse the mayonnaise, I cut myself on a knife the other night cooking. But yeah, so that's what it looks like. That's the baked eyeshadow. And I mainly brought it for these two colours here. This pink one and this like really nice um, brown one here. So blending those two together is going to be really nice. So I picked up that straight away. And next thing I pull out is I've got their plumping lip glaze in wink pink so that one there and this is the clear glaze instantly stimulates lips to create a fuller look the tinted glaze continues to plump while instantly hydrating formula so I picked up that one I think I've got a few of those I'm not too sure I also picked up their Zit Zapper, which I've heard a lot about on YouTube as well. It zaps zits away with the, the unique blend of salicylic acid and tea tree, which hazel and camphor, I think that is. The special clear formula helps to fight and prevent acne, reduce swelling, minimize pore sizes and clear skin. So I just thought something really handy to have when I do break out in some hormonal acne. So that's that. My next pull out is their duo eyeshadow in butter pecan. So I picked up this one. It's their duo, 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 the duo eyeshadow cream. Express yourself with the long wear, easy to blend, creamy duo colors. Each gorgeous, gorgeous color can be worn alone or together for dramatic effect. So I thought that was really pretty. So I picked up that. Next thing I pull out is a blush, and this is the one in Silky, it's a Silky Smooth Powder, and it's in Blushing. So I picked up this blush, so it's really nice. Oh, I don't know if I should do swatches. Um, this is a Silky Smooth Powder, melts into the skin, clean, um, creating a beautiful glow, formulated to create lasting colour that accentuates features and flatters skin tone. So I'll quickly do a swatch of this. This is look really nice online and looks like my color I really like um, pinks but not nothing too bright um, 
or too dark so this looks really nice so just open that so that's what it looks like it comes with a little brush which I doubt I'll use I'll use brush my normal brushes and I'll just do a little swatch so that's what it looks like there I hope you can see it so that's what it looks like there so just really subtle we're blending in I think it'll look really nice once it's all blended I'm happy with that and I brought another all over cover uh, cover stick color stick oh my god I'm having trouble with my words today this one is in Perisimonin Peri oh my god I hope I can pronounce that right can you see that there but I got it in this color it looks like a really nice pink it's a natu they naturally illuminates for healthy glow instantly soothes and conditioned skin and it's multi-purpose formula you can use it on your eyes your lips and face so I just like using them as a blush it's like I'm wearing pink lemonade today as a blush and that was really nice formula and they smell really nice so I picked up this one so that's what it looks like there if you can see that I'll just do a little swatch of it oh that's so pretty there can you see that there it's really illuminating Hi ladies, okay so I'm back, it's the day after, my battery went dead and I had no memory space left on my card so I had to change all that and so it was too dark by the end of that so I came back today. Even though it's a grey raining day I think the lighting is enough to continue. So on with what's wet, the rest of what's in my elf haul. So I also picked up a few of their brushes, so these are the ones that I picked up. I picked up the eyeshadow brush, the blending eye brush, bronzing brush, and I think this is their mini stipple brush. I think it's the smaller one, it's not the full size. The full size was sold out. So they're the three brushes that I picked up. And I've not used e.l.f. brushes before, but they feel really nice. Um, and I've heard a lot of uh, reviews about them. I think it's like the, these white ones, they're only $3. Um, so I've opened up the blending eye brush and it feels really nice. I like the feel of it. It looks, feels really soft. So I think it will do the job quite well. And for $3 you can't go wrong. So I'm pretty happy with that. So I picked up those brushes. And I've never used a stipple brush before. So um, I'll probably use it for like cream black brush. Oh my god. Words. I probably use them for cream blushes, but if you use a stipple brush, let me know what they're really good for. I know they're good for foundation, um, but I mainly use um, Nude by Nature, so it's like a powder, mineral powder. So if it's good for that, let me know if you know if that's good for that. So I've also picked up, speaking of blush, I picked up their cream to powder blush, which is this one here. And it's in the colour Flirt. And it looks like a really nice pink. It smooths on as a cream and finishes as a velvety soft powder for long lasting rich colour that's never greasy. So I'll just take a look at that inside. It looks like a really nice colour. And actually my daughter picked this one out. Um, she was on with me next to me while I was doing it on the website because she loves makeup as well. So she wanted to pick out a few colours and of course her favourite colour is pink. So she picked out this. The packaging of this blush is beautiful. I really like that it's like a clear glass, uh, glass perspex, perspex, plastic type of stuff. And the black lid, it just looks really nice. So I'll take the little protector cover off. It smells nice. All Elf's blushes smell really nice. So the texture of it feels a bit like foam, a bit like um, mousse. I guess it's like the mousse whipped up kind of like foundations you can get. So that's the colour there. And I'll just swatch it. Swatch it. <laughs> so it does, it feels, it instantly dried to a powder as soon as I start putting it on my hand. So that's what it looks like there. And I think once it's blended out it won't be so intense pink like at the moment it looks like really bright intense pink 
but I think once that's blended out I think it will turn really subtle and nice so I like that a lot so that's the blush I've also picked up the uh, lip stain in birthday suit so that's what that one looks like there and um, I've not tried that many lip stains um, I've used like those big texture type ones I think Revlon came out with and um, they were very drying on my lips so I'll be interested to see what this will be like so that is the pink the color there and I'll just read the back it says a cheerful coverage that lasts for hours with this long wearing formula enjoy silky matte color or lay it on the moisturizing clear gloss for a shiny look key vitamins A and E to help your lips stay smooth all day long so I'll just do a swatch of the pink gloss it's really intense pink but again I think it won't be as intense on the lips so I'll probably just like make it more subtle so that's that one there but I'm really happy with that that's so pretty I also picked up the jumbo lip gloss stick in, and the color is in the nude so it's like a nude crayon lipstick this long wearing tinted lip color glides on like a lipstick but looks like a gloss with nourishing jojoba soybean and vitamin e ingredients it conditions and moisturize the lips the twist up com component and smooth glide formula is easy to use for on the go comfort so i'll just have a look at this one So I'll swatch that for you next to the pink gloss. It's very nude and subtle, so that's really nice. I like that. So I hope you can see that. It's like a really nice nude. I don't own any nude lip glosses or lipsticks, so that's very nice. I also picked up, this is the other plumping lip glaze color that I got, and the color is Oasis. So it's just like the other one that I showed you yesterday, which is this one here. So these are the two colors that I picked up. And I didn't swatch this one yesterday either, did I? So I'll do that now for you. And they're very, they smell very minty, which is nice. Even though I'm not a huge fan of mint. Like, I don't mind it in um, lipsticks, lip glosses. So that's it there next to the other lip gloss so it's much more subtle color it's more of a clear kind of got pink gloss so quite nice and I'll just swatch this one this looks really nice this looks really like my color um, I like very subtle colors as you may have noticed so this is very clear it's this one down here so it's very clear it's sheer color even though it looks like a more intense color in the bottle it comes up basically invisible so I don't mind that at all we'll see how we go with that one oops so I also picked up more blushes <laughs> I picked up two of these I think is their main blushes um, this one is peachy keen and this one is tickled pink so I'll just open these and do a quick swatch. As you may have noticed, I really love blushes. I think it's definitely the main product I buy when it comes to makeup. I can't resist blushes. I think, oops, cheek, cheek products are my favorite to buy. Eat cream blushes, powder blushes, I like trying them all. So I'll just take the little protective feel off. So that's what it looks like there. This is the tickled pink color. I'm not to swatch it on my other hand because this one's full. This is again very subtle color. It's not, I don't know if that will come up in camera, but it's just a very light pink. So that's nice. And I layer blushes as well. Like if one's too sheer, I'll put on another one and just kind of build the color. Um, I sometimes use two or three blushes at a time which I think many, some people do, I've seen it on YouTube, a lot, a lot of gurus do that as well. Not that I'm a guru at all. So, 
This is the Peachy Keen. I do like Crowley Peach blushes as well, especially for um, summer. So, we'll see what this one is like. That's pretty. Yeah, this is definitely more of a summer, autumn colour. It's got like that really nice peachy bronze look. So, I like that one a lot. I'm nearly at the end. Three more products. I also picked up another duo cream eyeshadow. So, this one is in, I think, Sugar Cookie. Yep. So that's in that one. So again, it's just really nice, subtle colours. I don't think you will find anything crazy or outlandish in my makeup collection. I'm not like too keen on the real um, uh, vibrant or real bright colours. So that's what they look like there. I don't think you'll be able to see it that well on my wrist. But again, I really like this pinky colour here. And it smells so good. The butter pecan, the one I showed you yesterday, it smells like chocolate. It's so nice. Hi ladies. Okay, so this is part three of this e.l.f. haul. I finished my e.l.f. haul that I got from the website, but before I even ordered from the website, I ordered two blushes and they were sold out on the e.l.f. Australian website. So I got them off eBay thinking I would get here around the same time. Boy was I wrong. This seller is Australian but her postage was so slow. I ordered these at the start of July and I only just got them today. So this video has been three uh, in, in lapse of a week so it's about a week week and a half that I've been that's from about a week since I started this video uh, so finally can wrap it up today and get it out there so what I wanted to add to this haul video and to show you was these two elf blushes that I picked up off eBay because I couldn't get them on the website or in our local Kmart so these are the elf baked blushes I got peachy cheeky yeah and Pinktastic, which is that. So I've got these two cuties. And I really like the look of these colours on the website. So, and, um, yeah, so I really wanted them. So that's why I went to eBay to get them. Hoping that'll be all come together. So I could just do one big haul video and have it up already. But they didn't. So I've got them now. So I just thought I'd do it today. Before I went out. I'm off to the salon to get this mess fixed up. I'm not happy with my hair at the moment at all. So hopefully I can get it fixed up today. But this is what Pinktastic looks like. They're pretty thin blushes, so I thought they'd be thicker than that. But it kind of looks like that, and it kind of reminds me, they reminded me of the MAC um, highlighters and blushes, like this MAC one I've got here, which is my favourite of all time, is the Daft Pink Mineralized Blush. So I thought they'll kind of look like that. They do similar, a little bit. Um, but yeah, so that's Pinktastic, again excuse my nails, I've got to get a manicure today as well, so I'll finally get that hot mess fixed up. So that's what it looks like there, so I hope that my camera is focusing, and it's very subtle, I would say that's more of a highlighter than a blush, they're not as pigmented as I thought they would be, being a baked blush. It's very highlight, very shiny, so I will probably use that as a highlighter, not as a blush. So that's the Pink Tastic and the Peachy Keen looks really bright in the packaging, but I've got a feeling by that pink one it's not going to be. So this is the Peachy Cheeky one. I think I said Peachy Keen a minute ago, but it's Peachy Cheeky. So that looks really nice. Um, the gold, the brown kind of looks like veins, though, <laughs> but, yeah, it's, it's like a coral highlighter. I like that. It's really pretty, but I think it, was, it will take a lot of product. Yeah, you can't really see it. I think it will take a lot of product to build up on the skin. So, they're the two blushes that I've been waiting so long to add to this haul. I think they're very pretty. I'll definitely use the pink one more like a highlight and I'll blush. And I'll try and use this one 
has a blush, but I think we'll, I think you will need more product than just like a normal blush. So yes, so finally I can say that is my haul, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you'd like to see more makeup hauls from me, and um, let me know what you think. And I hopefully shall talk to you all again soon. Better hair and better nails. Take care. Bye for now.